Welcome to our first video in lesson three, which is going to be an introduction to factoring. In this video, we're going to review algebraic techniques to solve linear equations and really focus in on the inverse operations that we use in that situation. Let's take a look at the first problem in this lesson. We begin by reading the problem in full. Use an algebraic technique to solve seven times x plus 21 equals zero. After we've read the problem in full, we ask ourselves one simple question. In the mathematical statement on the page, is there an equal sign? In this case, we see the equal sign. We're going to solve our equation. We see this is a really, really clear linear equation because we're, we have the form m times x plus b. We begin our solution by writing the entire original equation in our own handwriting first. We want to isolate the variable using inverse operations. We're going to get the x by itself. We begin by bringing the 21 over to the other side. In other words, the inverse of addition is subtraction. 0 minus 21 is, of course, minus 21. Here we have seven times x, there's a multiplication in between, is equal to negative 21. We want to get rid of that multiplication by seven. The inverse of multiplication is division. If I divide on the left-hand side, I must also divide on the right-hand side. This leaves one, since seven divided by seven is one, times x on the left-hand side. Negative 21 divided by seven is minus three, implying that x equal minus three is our guess to the solution. We haven't checked our work yet. To do so, we need to take the value of our solution and substitute it into the original equation that we started with. Everywhere we see an x in that situation, we're gonna put a value of negative three. We're not sure if this equation holds. Seven times negative three is negative 21. Negative 21 plus 21 is indeed 0. 0 is equal to 0. We now know for sure this is a solution to our equation. We recall that the major idea that we used in this situation was to isolate the variable using inverse operations. That is exactly what we've done in this situation. We got the x by itself by using inverses. We have said many times that the type of inverse that we apply depends on the type of equation we solve. We see once again in the linear situation, we undo addition with subtraction, we undo multiplication with division. Generally, when we solve linear equations, we're gonna use the following inverse operations. We're gonna annihilate addition with subtraction, get rid of subtraction with addition. In other words, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Similarly, because multiplication and division show up in linear equations, we will say that multiplication and division are inverse operation. We get rid of division with multiplication, we get rid of multiplication with division. As we saw in this example, those were our go-to operations to solve linear equations. In the next video, we'll see this in action once more.